Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Redcom One Tactical. Main man Cody, a main man Hunter Paulson. Um, today we're going to be doing an unboxing, kind of a reveal type video. Anybody who checked out my last video, I did kind of do a little teaser about this. I showed them the box, and I was like, we're super excited about it. We weren't sure if we were going to do an unboxing video, but I, I figure why not? We're really excited about this. We hope that everybody out there gets uh, as excited as we are. So, I guess without any further ado, let me get out my handy dandy professional. It's locked. Yeah. Let's try that again. Bam! There we go. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. We're just going to open the box and, and we'll kind of describe what we see as we get there. Oh, hun. Hunter, show the folks out there your professional box opening tool. Here we go. Standard scissors. Pink scissors. Yeah, boy. Okay. My side's already done. I'm just waiting on it. <laughs> Tools, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Ditch those. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll just... Uh, I don't know what... So this was a huge box. I don't know. I'm, I'm not gonna pick it, pick it up again. Um, but this thing is like, I mean, it doesn't even fit in the. Well, it barely fits in the frame of the the camera. This thing, and it was pretty heavy. Did you pick it up? No, I did not pick it up. Did pick you want to pick it up? Okay, let's just just so you you have an idea. Of, it's actually not that bad, but it's, well, it's okay. much heavier I mean, than the M4. Th yeah, in, anything else that we've unboxed, this is quite a bit heavier. Thank you, sir. So go ahead. All right, it's just like any other knife, really. <laughs> All right, um, so when we open up the box, we see another box. And I guess you guys can't see that, so let's try to get this box. Yeah, I'll, I'll pick this one up. You did just, just slide it, just send it flying this way. Okay, so we're going to have to hold it up a little bit. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that or not. I bet you can. Um, Cybergun M249 MK46. That's right, it is an LMG. Um, we talked about this, we, we debated on, okay, do we want to add a sniper rifle to the, to the wall of awesomeness? And we're like, you know, where, where we play, there's just not a lot of sniping going on. It's a lot more close quarters combat and tighter stuff. So. So we said, all right, let's, hold, let's put a hold on, on getting a sniper rifle for the time being. Eventually, uh, um, we will. Um, it, it's coming. But this was something that we said, all right, we've got to have an LMG. Now we just got to find the right one that fits us. And that's just, uh, so, I, I mean, that, let's just get into it. Yes. So. We just got to bear with us, please. We're just trying to figure out now how to, okay, that flap opens. I think this just has to slide out, maybe. Probably. Okay, you hold the box. I'm gonna slide. Actually, better idea. Check this out. Sorry, guys. Bear with us. We'll, we'll get it. Okay, now you hold the inside box. Okay, yeah, it's a big gun. Uh, a big gun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just want to take a second here to appreciate that whole box is gun. Well, it, there, there's a little little section. We're gonna we're gonna show you in a minute. There's a little section over here for for a part of the gun, but everything else is is gun. Every, <laughs> That's a big gun. You guys are probably like, man, you guys just shut up and show us the gun. We're tired of hearing you talk. Well, okay. Uh, pull that off, and there she is, it's Cybergun actually, MK46. Actually not that bad, I probably could run with this still. Yeah? Yeah. I'll tell you what, let's, it's pretty nice. let's get this box out of the way, let's just send her off to the abyss. Um, it's, well, I don't know how to hold up the bipod. It's like most bipods, I think. Yeah. Alright then. 
set her up there. Um, okay. All right, so we did some adjustment with the camera. I know we've got a lot of crazy stuff going on back here, but to be able to get this whole thing in the frame, uh, that's just what we had to do. So this thing is huge. I mean, but I'm sure there are bigger um, LMGs out there. I know there are, in fact. But again, we, we talked about our, our play style and, and what we do, and this is, uh, this is kind of a, a hybrid. I'm gonna spin it around here. So, on your magwell, which is here, um, you've got a box mag, which we haven't even pulled out of the plastic yet. Not very well packed, but that's okay. So you, you've got your box mag, and this dude runs off two double-ed batteries. You do have an auto somewhere here on the bottom. You've got off, auto, and sound control. The auto feature um, is electronic, and it automatically cycles the BBs um, in the box and feeds them. Or you've got sound control. I have never, ever played with that. Supposedly, it cycles off the sound of the gun. So every time you fire, it picks up the audible and cycles it. I don't know. I'm kind of skeptical on that myself. Okay. We'll find out though. Or um, it also accepts standard M4 mags. So just, yeah, I can just slide it in there probably. Yeah, I assume that's pretty much about it. Yeah, that's it. So if you, uh, if you run out of your 2400 rounds of ammo in your box and uh, you can ask your one of your buddies to toss you an M4 mag just to get you out of the fight and looks pretty cool <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's pretty awesome yeah they call it the hybrid um, man it's 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 not that it's not as heavy as I thought it was gonna be I mean it's heavier than any M4 you're gonna run you certainly would want to limit your run and gun style a little bit but quite honestly, and actually for me, oh yeah, that's much better. Now it's about standard M4 length. It's almost it's only slightly heavier than my Komodo. Yeah. Quite honestly. So yeah, yeah I could I could easily run with that a little bit. Um, well, probably I gotta say this bipod. Probably touch it. I'm a little a little disappointed. Like everything else on this gun is just. It, it, it appears to be flawless. I mean, full metal, everything's metal, um, in the bipod, but the bipod's kind of flimsy. We'll probably ditch that and... Get a good old grip pod. Yeah, probably grip pod this dude. Um, let's flip it back out. Oh, so to eject the mag, you've got your little ejection lever here. Boom. <clears throat> Before we throw that box mag on, let's flip it around here. It looks like you got charging handle. Um, I think just the range for you. Yeah, it does come yeah. does come with iron sights, obviously front and rear. Unlike that thing. Unlike that, it didn't come with any <laughs> sights. Adjustable butt stock. There's only two positions. Um, Which and then I you've got it, the little shoulder <coughs> rest. Actually, I haven't used the shoulder rest. Mind if I pick that up and try? Yeah, it? yeah, pick it up. All right. really nice. However, I uh, can't tell if it's my eyesight, but the back sight is pretty blurry for me. Just, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll be throwing some optics on it anyway. Yeah. Um, just kind of what we do. We don't run, run a lot of iron sights. Okay. So that, that comes up and it exposes... Hop-up? I'm assuming this is a hop-up. Probably. Yep. It's it, hop Rotary-style hop-up. Which is cool, and it's a it's a big knob. I'm gonna see if maybe I can. Probably not. That's okay. Probably let's say it's about the size of three nickels stacked. Yeah, decent size rotary style, and in, it, it spins pretty easily. Like I'm just barely kind of rolling it with my fingertips there. And yeah. It pulls it pretty hard. Oh, you know what? I, I bet you. If this is like, if this is like a standard M249. Yep. So, if you go to close this c cover, 
you've got to pull back the charging handle and then close it. And I believe I did see some, some videos on that. Now I've also, we did watch a few reviews, some other folks did on this gun, and they, they did talk about removing the barrel. <laughs> I, I kind of laughed because we were watching the video, the review, <laughs> and the, the gentleman doing the review hits this little switch on the side that I'll show you in a second. And when he hit it, the entire barrel shifted forward about four inches. Easily. And we were both like, are you kidding me? It's got a switch to extend the barrel length? No. No, it doesn't. We were stupid. Uh, yeah. Let me just show you what it does. Barrel pops out. See how it extended? And we're like, wow, that's awesome. But that's actually how, well, it's kind of tight. That's how you get the outer barrel. And the inner barrel wants to come with it, it looks like. So we've got the outer barrel. Easy disassembly. I mean, that's that's pretty nice. You take the full outer barrel assembly out. You can change out your, your muzzle brake, front sights, whatever. Just just uh, what I noticed just now pulling it out is that the inner barrel is going to come with it. So just be careful because that, that inner barrel uh, definitely was trying to come out with it. So um, other than that, that was pretty that was pretty impressive. Pretty easy disassembly on that portion of it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I think I'm going to talk, well we've got the camera rolling real quick about the battery storage. No. No? no. Let's go back farther. Just push it all the way. Like, there like, it is. Force it. No, that, that's it. That's it? Yep. Okay. Okay. So when you put that barrel back in there. No, that's, that's not it. That's all the way back. That's as far back as it goes. There you go. That's the oh, okay, that's it. Wow. So putting the outer barrel back in, uh, just push it in as hard as you can, and then take the little thumb switch right here. Here's the thumb switch. Watch the barrel. You want to just put your hand there so it doesn't shoot out. Boom. And then once you go back in with it, go ahead and push it in. No, no. There it goes. Okay. Kind of tricky, but not not terrible. This is not gonna fall out. No, yeah, you definitely don't have to worry about it falling out. It's pretty, it's pretty stable. Man, this thing is just a really nice uh, trigger trigger guard. The trigger's nice. Everything on this thing is just really good shape. Um, I'm super impressed. I cannot wait to throw a battery in it. Fill that box up. Maybe we ought to. Maybe we ought to try to install this box. You sure? So. So. Put that in first. This goes in here. Yeah. Maybe pick up the front of it a little bit. Okay, so that's gonna go in there. And then this dude is gonna. Oops, I'll get. All right. Something like that. Yep. Ah. Okay, now we've got, <laughs> fumbling around here. That does add a little bit of weight. When that thing's full of BBs, it's gonna add a lot of weight. It's gonna add a lot of weight, but that's still not bad. It's not uncomfortable. Man, that's just, uh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. I wish it came with a different shade of the box, but. Yeah. I almost would, if that box had been black, yeah, been fine. you know, we've got a black and, and tan gun and then just a OD green box mag, so that is what it is. Yeah, you have like super albatross wingspan, so you're going to have to fully extend that. Yeah. Anyway, um... That's all we know about it now. We have, we've, this is the first time we've even seen one in person. We have ne haven't had a battery in it, haven't shot it, haven't, we've watched a couple of reviews, that's about it. So I think, oh, um. Battery compartment. Battery compartment. Probably the front switch. Oh. That works. Okay. That just kind of fell out. It, it looks like it's got some tabs. 
off, off camera we'll figure that out. I don't want to waste your time, but it. And then there we've got fuse and small Tamiya connector. It looks like you can throw stick battery, butterfly batteries maybe. We'll just have to have to see what happens. And then I think that was. Okay, well, we'll chop it. Yeah, we'll figure it out. But anyway, so <clears throat> thank you for watching. We hope you, you enjoyed uh, this. I know it was kind of boring probably, but we just wanted to get it on camera, us unboxing this. We're really excited about it. I cannot wait to get this out and start shooting it and just lighten some stuff up with it. After we get some time using it, we'll come back and do another review and, and we'll do all the numbers. Um, FPS on this, I think they, 370 to 390 is what they're claiming. Which, that, you know, I mean, you, you can hold 2400 BBs and th this has safe and full auto mode. Semi-auto? No, safe and full auto. So, you know, if you have to cut back the FPS a little bit because you're pumping 2400 rounds out that fast, you know, they're going to slow it down. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be doing some more of this and uh, we'll, we'll come back with a, another update to, to what we think about this bad boy. So, yeah. we'll catch you guys later. See you later.